Hi everyone. It is New Year's Day 2018 and this was New Year's Eve Anderson, South Carolina. A thick mass of cloud substance. And there you have the frequencies. I'm going to show you two days ago in just a moment but this was a dome a very very thick cloud substance artificial substance horizon to horizon it blanketed blanketed Anderson South Carolina and yesterday was cold and today it was quite cold I think it's 20 degrees right now South Carolina but I have to ask once again does anybody know what this antenna is? Because you know what? I've been here for four years and I only recently spotted this. I believe it just went up and I have no clue what this thing is. So, this was two days ago. You're driving along, you see the sky looking like this, and you have to wonder what the hell is wrong with our population that they cannot see that something is terrifically wrong with our sky every time the camera goes in and out of focus that's the frequencies see the ripples right there frequencies I have to tell you guys I'll be posting a video hopefully soon on targeting some conversations I've had with targeted individuals um, look at that I mean you can see the frequencies but you look at this you see lines in the sky people claim it's contrails and they seem to meet up and form these right angles And yet, this plane is not leaving a contrail. And I, of course, like a schmuck, oh, wow, get your camera because here, one plane leaving a contrail, then you see all of these contrails that don't dissipate and they just hang out in the sky. And yeah, you can actually visibly watch the frequencies expand these chemtrails. But hey, you got it, right? You got it. It's on film. All right. Won't that beg questions in somebody's mind? No, because I've been doing this for six years. It won't. Every time I turned around, th there was another plane. You look to the left, there's a plane leaving. It's chemtrail. You look to the right, there's another one. We were so bombarded. This was the day that I came home and I just felt sick. But if you notice, at the beginning of this video, you saw the same area and the lines were not as thick as they suddenly became, there is a plane that's not leaving anything. Yeah, life has really become pretty friggin' unreal, surreal, maddening. You got planes leaving their quote unquote contrails that don't dissipate and just expand. You have a plane that leaves a contrail, then you have planes that aren't leaving anything. And then, of course, you get the person who's going to leave a com comment saying, well, the atmospheric conditions changed. Anyway, the targeting. The pain that I have been experiencing 24-7, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of it. And it is sharp. And while we can't compare, you know, I only know my pain. I don't know 
I listen to these targeted individuals and they experience something that I don't think I experience. You know, everybody's pain threshold is different, but from what I hear, they're experiencing really just crippling, intense pain. And maybe mine would be, I don't know, but I just keep going. But look at the moon. It's four o'clock. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. The moon is high up in the sky. We're at war. I'm filming this. I know that this is a weapon that they use in this war. The sky is so unbelievably unnatural. And yet, people just go on about their business. Really? 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 This is, this is what they see and just go on and think that's natural? Nothing. It's so, oh man, I don't know what to do anymore. People are dying. Arctic cold. And people are dying from the cold. And yes, they can create cold. And I just can't, I don't have the energy anymore to pull up the documents, show you the patents, prove everything that I'm saying. I just don't have it any, any, anymore. Look, they can produce disturbances in the climatic processes. They can um, manipulate frontal weather systems. They can manipulate air masses. Of course they can create cold temperature. Based on the research that I've done, what uh, just flake ice, I remember. They can disperse flake ice and reduce sunshine and um, solar radiation. They can transport electrical energy received from solar radiation. In that oh, 60s document, National Science Foundation, the Commission on Weather Modification, they were talking about cooler temperatures. Cooler temperatures were dis was discussed. That was back in the 60s. Try to tell somebody this. <laughs> Look at that. Another chemtrail right underneath. How perfectly lined it is. But that friggin' moon was driving me nuts. What's it doing high up in the sky at 4 o'clock in the afternoon? And this was the moon today at like 5 or 5.30. So low that, well, you can't really see it, but the moon was so incredibly low, and then it took on a, hey, are you tripping on acid effect? But no. Uh, anyway, yeah. So this is hard. It's very, very hard um, to deal with when you're assaulted like this so frequently. And then you hear about this flu outbreak in so many states. Early for a flu outbreak. And you know what's going on. You know, you talk to people around here, nobody feels well. You talk to somebody and you hear, oh, well, I just went up to pick up my five medications. That neighbor lives in chronic physical pain. It's, this is such a sick, twisted world that we're living in now. And it is, it is hard to take when you see the sky like this and then you just can't get through to people. And it's heartbreaking when you know that it, it doesn't have to be a fire or a flood. 
It can be arctic cold temperatures that kill people. And there are people who can't afford the oil or the gas to heat their homes. It's and then you know that yeah the American people on the whole they don't care too much for others so <laughs> well boom 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 frequencies frequencies so should I really be so surprised that I am living in chronic physical pain look at this guy alright you go shopping you go to the supermarket you get out of your car the sky looks like this you know you're being pummeled with frequencies and you see these people this was two two days ago and you see these families parents or mothers kids in tow shopping for New Year's and nobody is even paying attention I know you guys live I know you guys live this Every, it didn't stop. It just didn't stop. Oh, and this is nice. Check it out. Boom! Frequency released. Yes. And the color that you see there is nothing compared to what you actually saw with the naked eye. It was, I walked out of this supermarket and I was like, holy shit, how can people look at this and think it's normal? Yeah, spraying at night just didn't stop. I know a lot of you are barely functioning. I know a lot of you are sick. I know a lot of you are suffering the consequences. So am I. And you know what? It's getting harder and harder to take the people who just ignore, ignore this. So all the black that you see in the sky, this black rising, oh, it was a fire but nothing happened. So, 2018, let's see, day to time, will it get better or will it get worse?